In this lesson we're going to do a two-point perspective drawing. Two-point perspective is different because you have your horizon line the same as in one-point perspective but this time you have two points. If I was to create a house in one-point perspective this would be the one point here on the horizon line and this front plane would be facing you and this side plane would be going down to the point. But if I did it in two-point perspective, and this was your central line, this would be the same line on this house, everything on this side, exactly the same um, as in one-point perspective, would be going down towards this point here, so exactly the same. But in two-point perspective, you have another point on this side of the horizon, so instead of having a flat plane that's looking at you, everything on this side of the horizon goes down to the second point. So the way to do it is you need to again always check whether your lines are parallel to the edge of the paper. Create a horizon line that's parallel to the top and bottom of your paper. This time you create two vanishing points. So one vanishing point there, one vanishing point there. I've put a little cross. Sometimes that's easier to see than a dot. Then in the centre of your page, or somewhere near the centre, doesn't have to be exact, you can put a vertical line that is parallel to the edges of your paper. Don't go all the way up to the top, leave a space at the top and the bottom. From the top of that line, you draw an orthogonal line to the left hand vanishing point and another orthogonal line from there. Then you're going to create a kind of kite or diamond shape doing two more orthogonal lines to the other point. So now you have your central line and two sets of orthogonal lines going from each side, one to each point. Now you can draw the sides of your house. Again, check whether your ruler is vertical and parallel to the edge of the paper. It doesn't have to be any particular size. Now we have the sides of the house. This is the base of the house and the roof of the house. Now to put in the windows, you can imagine the height of your windows on this line. So if this is the corner of your house, I might do a window here and a window there. And I'm going to put one here and the bottom of it there. This would be one window and this would be another window. And I'm going to use these lines to help understand where those windows are going to be placed. So I want to draw these lines lightly because I'm going to rub them out. These are just guidelines. If you want, you can do them with a dotted line if that helps. Make sure you are accurate and that you, when you draw these lines, they actually are going exactly to these points. You can do it the same this side. Now you have your orthogonal lines which show you where your windows are going to be on each side of your house. Now we need to work out where the spacings are so if you imagine just a little bit to the left of your central line, you could draw a vertical line and another vertical line, again always checking that your ruler is parallel to the edge of the page. Then we have our first two windows, so the top and the bottom of these windows run along these orthogonal lines. Now I could do a door in the middle of this house and another window at the other end. Remember that this window would be smaller than this one, narrower, because it's further away. I can go straight up from that line, and straight up from that line, and create another window here. You can rub out any lines that you don't need. So now you have this side of the house drawn. You can do the same thing on the other side, and put in some windows. Always check your ruler. I'm going to try and get the same distance down so it looks even. try and work out the same distance here. You could measure it, I'm just doing it by eye. Just remembering the really important thing is the tops of your windows are on this orthogonal line that goes to this point and on this orthogonal line that goes to the point. We don't need to put a door, we could put in maybe three windows on this side. These orthogonal lines are showing you how much smaller each window gets as it goes further away. If you wanted to put in a roof, you could draw a line 
straight up from here, not very tall, an extra centimetre just above your building, and then draw an orthogonal line that side and that side, and this could create a roof. You would do it an angle, I'm going to do quite a steep angle, try and create a similar angle this side, and now I have my roof line, and I have a house. If I want to create a pavement, I could come straight forward from there and create a pavement in front of my house, put my pencil on the vanishing point. I have a pavement now in front of my house, I could put a little line straight down and create the height of that pavement, then you could put in a road here if you wanted to. If I was going to do the lines on this road, I would they would be going to this point. When you're doing two-point perspective, you only really have a horizontal line if it's on the horizon line. Otherwise, you tend to have lines either going to this point or this point. You still have vertical lines though, going across. You could now add another house on either side if you like. You would just follow in those exact lines like we did before, remembering that this house would be a bit narrower than this one. If it's the same size house, it could be a different house. If you did a taller house, whatever size house you wanted to do next door, this edge would be the same as this edge of your house. You would draw a line to that point and a line to this point. Just remembering that your lines are going to go to both points from this corner line of your house. So any houses you build down here, you draw the corner line of your house in and you draw the lines to each point. Just remember whatever you add on either of these planes of your house, that you need orthogonal lines to show you where to place everything. The complicated bit is on this side of the house because you're behind this one it gets a bit confusing but just again remember that you're not doing horizontal lines you're coming to this point over this side. This line and this line here are coming to this point. All of your window lines would also come to this point. This would be an alleyway going between the two buildings. You can keep going on this one I have done lots of buildings the whole way back. With this line here, if you want to stop your buildings from this point, you would take the line back to this point. So this line should be going to that point there. All of these alleyway lines, they are all going to the opposite point. So keep in mind where the front corner of your house is. Remember to keep your horizon line wherever you can see it because it really helps you to show the distance. You can add in anything in the sides of your picture and add in more details and colour. So have a go, have fun! <laughs> <laughs>